Fremont County murder suspect released on cashless bail will not be fitted with an ankle monitor while he's back on the streets. During a pretrial hearing Monday, William Jacobs appeared out of custody after he was released two weeks ago on a PR bond. Fremont County Judge Caitlin Turner previously ordered Jacobs to be monitored by GPS tracking, but to the surprise of the judge and the district attorney's office, GPS monitoring is not available in Fremont County. Cardio 13 investigator Sean Rice traveled to Fremont County to understand how this could be. Sean is live in our newsroom now with what he's learned. Sean. Yeah, Heather, Fremont County Sheriff Alan Cooper says the last time his office used GPS monitoring for people released on bond was back in 2019. His office stopped paying for it because judges stopped placing people accused of crimes on it. The GPS systems look something like this, an ankle monitor that wraps around someone's ankle and then tracks their movements. They are used to ensure people released on bond aren't near victims or if they miss a future court date, they can be easily tracked down. Sheriff Alan Cooper says his office hasn't had the money or staff to keep up with enforcing GPS monitoring. And even back in 2019, when they did have it, only four people were ever fitted with them by judges. You had staff time to do the monitoring, and then you have a subscription service which the office paid for each one of the devices. And that was, if memory serves, that was roughly a thousand dollars a month. Not not huge, but still significant, depending on what your budget uh, what your budget looks like. Cooper says he would look into reinstituting a GPS monitoring system at the Fremont County Sheriff's Office if he hears from judges that they want people placed on ankle monitors. Without that, the elected sheriff says it is not the best use of his resources. Reporting live in the newsroom, Sean Rice, Cardio 13 Investigates. Mm. Sean, thank you.